Hi, Witness News is your local election headquarters. It is Super Tuesday. Voting is well underway in 14 states, including Massachusetts. Today's vote could go a long way in determining who will be the Democratic nominee to take on President Trump next fall. Senator Bernie Sanders cast his ballot this morning in his home state of Vermont. He has an edge in delegates and polls in key states. Elizabeth Warren voted in Cambridge this morning. She's expected to head to Michigan tonight. Joe Biden, who got a boost last night from three former presidential hopefuls, made a campaign stop in Oakland, California earlier. Mike Bloomberg spent today campaigning in Florida. He enters Super Tuesday as the wild card. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in New Bedford with a look at how voters in southeastern Massachusetts have spent today. Steph? Well, there is a steady stream of voters coming into this polling place here in New Bedford. There's about three hours left to vote tonight. The big question here in Massachusetts is whether Senator Elizabeth Warren will win her home state or be edged out by Senator Bernie Sanders. She was in town in Cambridge this morning to cast her ballot, but the Senator, Senator Warren is not spending, is not taking in the returns here in Massachusetts tonight, instead heading to a state that isn't voting today. <laughs> Senator Elizabeth Warren greeting her supporters from the bed of a pickup truck after voting this morning in Cambridge. I believe in you. I believe in the America we can build together. But the second term Democratic senator is not spending Super Tuesday night in her home state, instead campaigning in Michigan, which holds its primary next week. Because it was just next on the schedule to get out there and talk to people, I don't think you should read anything special into it. Who knows? We'll see what happens tonight, you know? Yeah. It could be huge. Anything could happen. The latest poll in the Commonwealth by the Boston Globe and Suffolk University over the weekend had Warren and Bernie Sanders in a virtual tie for first First place in Massachusetts. I'm not in Massachusetts. I am happy to be part of this democratic process. The Vermont senator campaigned in Springfield on Friday night and Boston Saturday morning, aiming to capture more Bay State votes. Hi, how are you? Today, Bernie back in Vermont to cast his ballot and hold an election night event in his home state. Voters coming out in Fall River this morning for all of the candidates. I, I'm a Bernie Sanders fan, and I just that's the person I'm going to go for. My, just well, Joe Biden. Yeah, my mind was made up from the get-go. And I spoke with Bernie Sanders, Northeast State's director, a short time ago. He's in Boston today. He says they're not taking anything for granted, campaigning for every last vote here in the Bay State. Now, coming up new at 6 o'clock, I talked to the mayor of New Bedford, a Warren supporter, for his take on her campaign. Live in New Bedford, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. News is your local election headquarters, tracking the biggest day of the Democratic presidential primary yet, Super Tuesday. Millions of Americans going to the polls from coast to coast, including Massachusetts voters here in southern New England. Eyewitness News Politics Editor Ted Nisi is here all night as Super Tuesday results come in. He joins us now live with more. So remind everyone why this is such a big night. Well, Mike, Caroline, uh, we have a map and I think the map kind of says it all. Massachusetts, one of 14 states across the country that are voting today. By tonight, one in three Democratic convention delegates, a third will be pledged to a candidate. And with so many on the line, any candidate who gets a big advantage today will be able to start pulling away from the other other candidates and come closer to winning the nomination. All right, Ted, let's talk about the two front runners in the race today. Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, they have a lot on the line. Absolutely. Let's start with Joe Biden. I think a lot of political watchers like myself have been, I'd say, pretty astounded by the turnaround in his fortunes in recent days. A week ago, some people wondered if Joe Biden might be on the verge of dropping out by now. But since then, he won a landslide victory in South Carolina. He got two rivals to endorse him, and he's been surging in these final last minute polls. And all that's complicating the math for Bernie Sanders because Bernie Sanders team had hoped that having the field so divided would let Bernie Sanders come out on top even if he got a low percentage of the vote. He'd been seen as the front runner a week ago with the potential maybe to build up an insurmountable lead tonight. Now though it's not as clear if Sanders will get that kind of turbocharge out of Super Tuesday that he wanted. All right, Ted, let's talk about the local candidate in this race, Elizabeth Warren, the senator from Massachusetts. Does she have to win tonight? You know, it's hard to say what their strategy is at the moment, Mike. The Warren campaign not really arguing she can win outright any primaries at this point. They hope if she does win some delegates, maybe she could be a consensus alternative nominee at a brokered convention, but that's very much a long shot. Uh, frankly, it's, it's up in the air whether Warren will even win Massachusetts, her home state tonight, so that's something I'm going to be watching closely.
So when do we expect those results to come in tonight? Well, first, uh, first state closes at 7 p.m. our time, and uh, Massachusetts closes at, it closes at 8, and the last state to close is California. That's at 11 p.m. our time. So I think we could have results pretty early, but it'll be a long night. All right, Ted, thank you very much. Our local election headquarters covering Super Tuesday. More than 1,300 Democratic delegates are up for grabs from 14 states, including Massachusetts. Joe Biden hoping to continue the moment he got from winning South Carolina, while Mike Bloomberg will officially be appearing on many ballots for the first time. And in Massachusetts, Elizabeth Warren is hoping for a win in her home state over Bernie Sanders with recent polls showing them practically tied. Iowa News reporter Steph Machado continues our election coverage now live from New Bedford. Well, the polls are open for two more hours here. We've seen a steady stream of folks at this polling place here in New Bedford. Now, Elizabeth Warren won Bristol County in her last Senate race in 2018 with 52% of the vote. We'll be watching tonight to see if voters here pick her for president, too. Fair. Elizabeth Warren back at home for Super Tuesday morning to cast her ballot in the Democratic primary. Today is just part of getting out and talking to people all across this country and hearing from democracy. We're going to have 40% of our delegates up for grabs today. Warren and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders battling it out for first place in Massachusetts. According to recent polling, Warren has the backing of New Bedford Mayor John Mitchell. I think she's, you know, she has not been dogmatic in her approach. And what do you make of the fact that she won't be taking in the results in Massachusetts tonight? She'll be in Michigan. Well, this is just such a rapid fire process. You know, you don't get to, you know, sort of savor victory at any given point. You just have to continue to move on. Senator Warren is in Michigan tonight, which holds its primary next week, instead of taking in the returns in her home state. Because it was just next on the schedule to get out there and talk to people, I don't think you should read anything special into it. Bernie Sanders, meanwhile, making an all out push for Massachusetts. He campaigned in Springfield and Boston over the weekend. So this Tuesday, Super Tuesday, very important day, maybe the most important day in the whole primary process. Tonight, Bernie is back in Vermont to celebrate an expected victory in his home state with his constituents. And Bernie's Northeast States Director is here in Massachusetts tonight telling me they are leaving no stone unturned as they try to win this state. Uh, Bernie and Joe Biden are expected to pick up the most delegates in the 14 states voting this Super Tuesday, but there is still plenty of uncertainty. Warren's team, meanwhile, just hoping she picks up enough delegates tonight to stay competitive in this race moving forward. Live in New Bedford, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.